Welcome to a webcast made by the Learning Enhancement Team based in the Dean of Students Office at the University of East Anglia. This webcast is part of the Steps into Trigonometry series and concerns solving right angle triangles. This guide discusses methods and strategies for solving right angle triangles. This entails finding the lengths of sides and sizes of angles. Introduction A triangle is described by six quantities. It's three sides and three angles. Many mathematical problems involve triangles and it is beneficial to know the values of all the sides and angles. However, you will rarely know them all. In mathematics, the process of finding all the sides and angles in a triangle is called solving the triangle. Importantly, in order to solve a triangle, you need to know three of the six quantities and at least one of these must be a side. This guide concentrates on methods and strategies for solving a specific type of triangle, one which contains an angle of 90 degrees, which is commonly called a right angle. These types of triangles are called right angle triangles. If you are trying to solve a right angle triangle, you can use some very useful relationships from trigonometry to help you. These are Pythagoras' theorem and the trigonometric ratios sine, cosine and tangent. If you need to refresh your knowledge of these pieces of mathematics, reading the study guides Pythagoras' theorem and trigonometric ratios sine, cosine and tangent can help. The information which this guide uses is summarised in the box below. For right angle triangles, the sine of the angle theta is A divided by C. The cosine of the angle theta is B divided by C. The tangent of the angle theta is equal to the sine of the angle theta divided by the cosine of the angle theta, which equals A divided by B. Also, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, which is Pythagoras' theorem. And all the angles add to 180 degrees. Methods for solving right angle triangles. There are some simple techniques that you can employ in order to help you to solve right angle triangles. 1. Draw a triangle. This seems obvious, but it really helps to visualise the problem and will help you make good decisions as you work through the problem. 2. Label the sides and angles consistently. Decide on the way you label your sides and angles and do this consistently every time you solve a triangle. For example, in the box on page 1, the sides are labelled A, B and C, and C is always the hypotenuse. Angles of interest are labelled by the Greek letters theta and phi. Write the trigonometric ratios and Pythagoras' theorem and be consistent with the triangle you have drawn. By doing this you can make a good decision about which equations can help you solve the triangle in question. Make sure you can rearrange an equation properly. Most mistakes when solving triangles come from incorrectly rearranging the equation you choose. Reading the study guide, Rearranging Equations, can help you with this skill. If you follow these simple rules, you should make improvements when you need to solve right angle triangles. Example, solve the right angle triangle with sides of length 3cm, 4cm and 5cm. This is the famous 3-4-5 triangle a Pythagorean triple, and the question is really asking you for the two angles. So, you should begin by drawing and labelling a triangle. Here it is. You know that the longest side is 5cm, and so that is labelled C. The other two sides are labelled as A and B. It does not matter which. The two unknown angles are labelled theta and phi. Next you write the equations which will help you solve the problem. Sine theta equals a divided by c. Cos theta equals b divided by c. Tan theta equals a divided by b. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And theta plus phi equals 90 degrees. You can see from the triangle that you have drawn that you know a, b and c and you can use this knowledge to help you decide what to do next. 
In mathematics, you can solve an equation to find an unknown if the equation contains only one unknown. If you substitute a, b and c into the equations, you get sine theta equals 3 divided by 5, cos theta equals 4 divided by 5, tan theta equals 3 divided by 4, 5 squared plus 3 squared equals 4 squared, and theta plus phi equals 90 degrees. The three circled equations all have one unknown, and you can use any of them to calculate the angle theta. Remember that the quantity you are trying to find is the angle theta, and that sine theta, cos theta and tan theta are properties of that angle, not the angle itself. You'll need to use the inverse trigonometric function to find the angle. See study guide, trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine and tangent. So, from sine theta equals 3 divided by 5, it follows that theta equals the inverse sine of 3 divided by 5, which equals 36.87 degrees to two decimal places. From cos theta equals 4 divided by 5, it follows that theta equals inverse cosine of 4 divided by 5, which equals 36.87 degrees to two decimal places. From tan theta equals 3 divided by 4, it follows that theta equals the inverse tangent of 3 divided by 4, which equals 36.87 degrees to two decimal places. You can see that, regardless of the equation you choose, theta equals 36.87 degrees to two decimal places. If it is not specified in the question, you should choose an appropriate number of decimal places, two is usually fine, but make sure you write this down as to two decimal places. You can now use theta plus phi equals 90 degrees to find the remaining angle. As theta equals 36.87 degrees, 36.87 degrees plus phi equals 90 degrees. Phi equals 90 degrees minus 36.87, which equals 53.13 degrees. In a right angled triangle, you can always use theta plus phi equals 90 degrees to find one angle if you know the other. Example. A right angled triangle contains an angle of theta equals 25 degrees and the side opposite this angle is 12 centimetres long. Solve this triangle. First, draw the triangle. You can use the information in the question to draw the triangle to the left. Drawing the basic triangle and labelling theta equals 25 degrees gives A, the opposite side, equals 12 centimetres. Now you can substitute the known values into the equations as follows. Sine 25 equals 12 divided by C. Cos 25 equals B divided by C. Tan 25 equals 12 divided by B. C squared equals 12 squared plus B squared. 25 degrees plus phi equals 90 degrees. You can use the circled equations to find the missing values as there is only one unknown in each. From sine 25 equals 12 divided by C, it follows that C equals 12 divided by sine 25, which equals 28.39 centimetres to two decimal places. From tan 25 equals 12 divided by B, it follows that B equals 12 divided by tan 25, which equals 25.73 centimetres to two decimal places. From 25 degrees plus phi equals 90 degrees. It follows that phi equals 90 minus 25 degrees which equals 65 degrees. Important! You cannot use Pythagoras' theorem and the definitions for sine, cosine and tangent to solve a triangle without a right angle. To solve a triangle which does not have a right angle 
you have to use the sine rule and cosine rule. See study guides, the sine rule and the cosine rule. Further guidance and information. If you have any further questions about trigonometry or would like to discuss any other aspects of mathematics, you can talk to your lecturer or personal advisor or make an appointment to see a learning enhancement tutor in the Dean of Students office. You can telephone 01603 592761 email dos.help@uea.ac.uk or visit our website at www.uea.ac.uk forward slash dos forward slash let there are further resources on many other aspects of numeracy, mathematics, statistics and science available from the Dean of Students Office and on its website. These include questions to practice, model solutions and webcasts illustrating essential skills. This guidance is one of a series on mathematics produced by the Dean of Students Office at the University of East Anglia.